agriculture is not a poor man's job. Agriculture is actually an economic impact to the current economy. MFARM came about in the year 2010 after a 48-hour tech competition. Three women came together and decided to use their passion, which is in tech, to build solutions for farmers. And one of the many problems that farmers had were access to market price information, access to viable markets, and access to affordable farm inputs. We create markets using simple tools like SMS. So just sending an SMS with a short code 20255 in a particular format, a farmer will get market price information. Farmer A wants to get information about potatoes today. They will send price the potatoes Nairobi if they're, if they're selling to the Nairobi market to get what is actually selling today. This is, this is used as a bargaining platform for them and they can get better deals if they're dealing with a third party to take the produce to the market. And then later, once a successful transaction has been done, they use still SMS to get the money, which is M-Pesa. I uh, Dickens Maina Kaboka. Saizi ndiyo naendekea kutimiza miaka msini na kazi yangu ni ya ukulima. Mfarm imeingia katikati ya mkulima na exporters. Kwa hivyo Mfarm imeingia na imeweza kutusaidia sana. Kwa mfano sasa hivi nikipeleka produce kama hii siku ya leo, watanilipa 60% by 72 hours. Kwa hivyo watakuwa wamenirudishia pesa zangu ambazo nimetumia na 40% ni ile profit ndakuwa na ngojea after one month. Kwa hivyo nimekuja kuona Mfarm imenipeleka vizuri sana. MFARM is a for-profit company and we make our revenues through data sales and successful, after successful transactions between the farmer and the buyer. And MFARM actually currently makes revenue and you're looking forward to break even in 2050. Three quarters of the week I spend it with the farmers. The government has taken a step ahead to actually fund the youth and their businesses and also fund the women within the agricultural scene. So I might say that the government has done a positive job of increasing the use of technology and also giving awareness of agriculture and how it can change the whole economy. We have actually grown from 20 farmers to 15,000 farmers to date. Yes. And, uh, We've also seen these 15,000 farmers giving us testimonials on how they've increased their livelihoods, first of all, by getting access to better healthcare, getting access to education by taking their kids to school, getting access to reinvesting or investments to reinvest in their lands, getting access to actually viable markets so that they can think of their farms as businesses. So these are the major successes we've had with the small-scale farmers. I won't call them small-scale farmers anymore. I'll call them small-scale entrepreneurial farmers. Yes.